Well, it's hot and dry, and it's the middle of July. And you wouldn't think that I would be thinking about getting ready for deer camp right now, but I am. So I'm gonna be putting up some dehydrated peppers and pork. I did a video quite a while ago, year, year and a half ago, called Don't Hesitate to Dehydrate. And that one was all about uh, making backpacking type meals using this dehydrator. But the food I'm gonna start working on today and uh, over the course of the summer is not gonna be for backpacking. It's just gonna be for my camp box. You know, when you're up in Idaho for a month, this year it's gonna be a little longer than a month, ice is at a premium. When you dehydrate foods, remove all the moisture from them, break them down, and then vacuum pack them, they take up a very small amount of space. It would be like taking this full bag of pistachio nuts and dehydrating them and shrinking everything down to a bag about this size. But the first thing I need to do is definitely make sure I have a razor sharp knife. And for that, I'm gonna use my Work Sharp electric knife sharpener. I don't know if you've ever used a Work Sharp, but they are fantastic. Nothing works better than getting a razor sharp edge quickly on all of your knives. Wow. Let's pick our first victim here. That's a sharp knife. So here are the finished peppers. Finished processing them anyhow, as far as cutting them up. And as you can see, I made them in some pretty good sized chunks because when they come out of that dehydrator, they're gonna be small. But that should be enough. That's eight peppers. Okay, let's go set up my dehydrator out in the garage and load it with peppers. So I have a total of four trays and I want to try to evenly distribute the load. Hopefully that's still going to fit. It will. And the more space you can get between the individual items, the more air is going to circulate, the faster they're going to dehydrate. But right now I'll be happy just to get everything to fit in here. This thing really couldn't work any easier. Just make sure the top is sitting on there and all the layers have lined up. And what did we say that was going to be? 135 degrees? Yeah. So let me set the control head to my Nesco food dehydrator aside. Again, we had it at 135 degrees setting and it went on for 11 hours. So what I do is I get myself a large brown paper grocery bag and I just set it up like so. Then I'll take my trays, carefully insert the tray so none of the edges are sticking out and then just quickly dump it. Well here are my peppers, that great big plate of sliced up peppers you saw yesterday. This is what they amount to now. And once I um, vacuum seal them, they'll be even more compact. They'll be really tightened up. And I'm just gonna put them in the refrigerator and take them with me when I go in October to Idaho. And it's not just vegetables I'm gonna be taking with me this year either in dehydrated form. I'm gonna be taking practically all my meat so I'm having my wife make buys like this when we get them on sale. These boneless pork loin chops, when they sell them, uh, buy one, get one free. The dehydration process for meat really mandates that we get as much of the fat out as possible. That's why we're gonna boil this. In the past, I've um, 
prepared meat like this for dehydrating by cooking it in the crock pot or the oven. But I thought I would try the boiling method this time. Total boiling time for the pork was about 20 to 25 minutes and I'm really hoping this next part goes well. I've let the pot cool for about 15 minutes. That water is still boiling hot. Excellent, I got every piece out. Now let's rinse with some cold water. And hopefully a lot of fat that was in this meat is now going down my kitchen sink drain right now. Hopefully. Now we're just going to give it a rest of about oh, another 20-30 minutes and that does it. I'll now take it out to the garage and plug it in. We're going to be using uh, maximum setting 160 degrees Fahrenheit 71 centigrade. Okay, ready for the big reveal. There we are. Let's give it the old shake, rattle, and roll test. Now I'm going to give it the drop test. Now I'm going to give it the old roll of the dice test. I would say these are done. That crackling sound, that's what I want to hear. Wait till the green light goes out. Release the seal and take out the finished bag. That, that one sealed up nicely. There's my peppers, which I did uh, about two and a half weeks ago. I can't believe I've only got two bags. These look pretty paltry up against all this pork. All right, well, peppers will probably be on sale again, so I'll just have my wife get some more. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have never dehydrated food for camp, I hope this might have uh, inspired you to give it a try.